Welcome back. The Intra-African Trade Fair, or the IATF, is a groundbreaking initiative supporting the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, serving as the sole pan-African B2B cross-sector trade fair. Offering an unparalleled opportunity for African buyers and sellers to connect, the 2023 edition is set to unfold in Cairo, Egypt, from November 9th to 15th. As part of its commitment to empower MSMEs and creative business associations and artists of sorts, the UNDP Accelerator Lab will feature the works of local creatives at its pavilion, functioning as a catalyst for economic growth. To delve deeper into this initiative and its implications for the economic sector, we're pleased to welcome Omagano Kankodi, who is the head of Solutions Mapping at UNDP Accelerator Lab, as well as Elzan Ludica, founder of Fabrica Namibia. Alzan, good evening and welcome. Hi, thank you for having me today. Thank you so much for being here. Omagano is joining us uh, on Zoom. Omagano, good evening. Are you there? Well, until we get her to uh, join us uh, this evening, Alzan, perhaps you can share some details on you know, the creatives uh, that will be represented <coughs> in Egypt and also, of course, contextualize uh, Fabrica Namibia's relationship to UNDP Accelerator Lab. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, how Fabrica started. Um, it was in 2021, um, Tanya Tulipamuestro, the co-founder of Fabrica, and I joined forces as we both had extensive experience in the arts and the, um, the fashion industry in Namibia. Mm -hmm. So having experienced all these challenges ourselves, we then decided to um, host a sense-making workshop where we invite all the industry key players to partake and actually just to start the conversation. You know, what are their actual challenges? Mm -hmm. And um, then soon we approached the UNDP Accelerator Lab um, for support and we were thrilled by how excited they were about this concept. And they just jumped on board um, and yeah, we joined forces and it became something so much bigger than what we ever imagined. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's how Fabrica started. Um, the Makeathon, we hosted uh, a four day Makeathon where there were participants partaking um, where they actually produced the, the products. Um, we guided them a bit in terms of construction, in terms of marketability and branding and those four um, winners at the end of the day, there was a panel of judges and the four winners that was chosen uh, is now s sent to Cairo for this uh, trade fair mm -hmm. representing Namibia and their creative products. Yeah, and tell us about <coughs> these creatives that will be represented there, the four winners. Yeah, so they, um, they showed exceptional work and especially during the Makeathon, um, they really collaborated with other people as well and they were able to bring forth um, a truly Namibian concept. Uh, so yeah, they, um, all four of them is, definitely deserves to, to be there and mm -hmm. to represent Namibia. You mentioned that um, Fabrica started, when you mentioned Fabrica's journey, you talked about the challenges that are within the fabric industry that you had encountered. What were some of those, the, those challenges? I think one of the biggest challenges we face in Namibia is the lack of resources and the lack of skills to actually manufacture or to produce items of exceptional quality. So that is um, definitely one of the biggest uh, challenges that we face, mm -hmm. but also the fact that um, the market isn't big enough to, you know, if there is, if there are products that's a bit more exclusive and expensive, um, the market is not always educated of what goes into creating an exceptional quality product, mm -hmm. um, and the people that's willing to pay the price, uh, you know, there's there's not a lot of them in Namibia, mm -hmm. so. And until we really um, master or find a way to successfully export um, Namibian products, then I think we will be um, we will have these shortcomings. Yeah. So, what are your hopes? Of course, being a part of a platform such as this, which is a, a really uh, big opportunity, what are your hopes will be the outcome from participating in this? 
Um, I really hope to have uh, the, the people actually communicate. And once they communicate with us, the, between them, then we can actually put heads together and see what, uh, how can we solve these problems uh, collectively. You are creative yourself, of course, and I want to talk about your personal experience as a creative, as an entrepreneur, as a woman in this industry, <laughs> and how you navigate you know, um, uh, the market without compromising the essence of, of your work uh, or products. Yeah, so it's, um, navigating the market comes with both challenges and rewards, and most of the time, unfortunately, the challenges are way more. Mm -hmm. So I think um, for me personally was staying true to my values and to always give my best and um, not compromise on quality. Um, and that usually requires a lot of patience and persistence, especially if you are in an industry or in a place where a lot of these things that you need to be successful is lacking. And especially also what we realized with Fabrica is we don't have a platform in Namibia where creatives are exposed and where they are supported. So yeah, I think also if you're in the industry here, yeah, if you're in the fashion or manufacturing or crafts industry, you always need to be able to solve problems effectively and quickly. Uh, so that is definitely something that has helped me or a big thing that I've learned throughout my journey. And um, yeah, to, to use all your resources, um, networking, collaborating with other designers, other creatives in the industry. And the more you work together, the better the outcome, you know. Um, competition isn't necessarily a bad thing <laughs> if you work together you know, collaboration can yeah. give you more rewards than, than challenges. Of course, they say the cake is always big enough for everybody. Yes. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that we couldn't uh, have Omagano as part of this conversation, but Elzan, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us and all the best in Cairo. Thank you. Thank you. All you have it, we're going to take a brief break. We'll be right back.